Changes are coming for the Sioux Falls Aquatics Bond. There is now a revised timeline for how the Sioux Falls City Council will vote on the bond for new pools at city parks. Kettleland stands and tell him breaks down the changes. Originally, the City Council was set to vote this month on a roughly $77 million bond. It would have included $9 million to buy the Sanford T. Ellis Wellness Center, $47 million for a recreation center featuring an indoor pool at Frank Olson Park, and $18 million for a replacement outdoor pool at Keene Park. But now, the votes for the Keene and Frank Olson Park bond funding will wait. One of the questions that has come up has been on the operational side and accessibility and pricing. And we knew we weren't going to be able to get to that conversation until probably the June-July time frame. Now we just got to talk about how do we create the most access possible for the whole community to these spaces? What type of fees do you pay when you come? The City Council is still set to vote this month on purchasing the Sanford facility. But now, the city intends to buy it with existing funds. So I think it's a really good economic decision to buy an existing facility rather than to build new. It's a great value that the city's getting, uh, you know, over 70,000 square feet of indoor rec space, which is the top priority when we survey our community. And to be able to move forward with that uh, at $9 million is a great deal for the city. And the bond votes for the pools are now set for September. Sean Pritchett, Director of Finance and Innovation and Technology with the city, says the bond total is still projected to be around $77 million. Additionally, the plan is for the bond to reimburse the city for the cost of buying the Sanford facility. In Sioux Falls, Dan Centella, Kelloland News. Even though the bond vote is delayed, the Chief of Staff for Sioux Falls Mayor Paul Tenhagen says construction will not be delayed. <laughs>